What's up, Noob Squad? I gotta show you something. Noob Dad and I had an idea last night, and today we're putting it together. We're piecing together the idea. Let me see. Let me see if I can show you from the bottom. What do you think this is gonna be? What do you think it is? Well, I already know what it is. It is going to be. I don't know if I can back up far enough to like get the whole thing in shot. Let me try this way. Okay, don't mind the garage. There's always a project. Okay, I got it. I got it. This is going to be the doll from Squid Game. Yes, that is correct. The 12 foot doll from Squid Games. I think it might be taller than that now. <laughs> yeah, I think it is going to be taller. We keep adding things together. So what we've decided to do is we're gonna play Squid Games in real life. Like the first game is red light, green light. So we had to have the doll with it because the doll's head turns around here. All the way around. He's like, Creepy. Yeah, so this is it. This is the doll. This is how we started. Yeah, it's gonna be fun. Okay, I'm gonna give you a sneak peek. Like, so last night we were discussing it. So here's a picture of the doll. You can't even see it on my phone. Can you see it? There she is. Okay, so that's the doll. So then we just kind of made like a little sketch. Is it gonna focus for you? Well, you can kind of see the sketch. So this is my table in the garage where a lot of magic happens. As you can see, Rod's picture is right here. What's behind it? That's ice cream for paint, glue, tape. So I'm gonna be doing some stuff over here for the doll. He's gonna be building up tall for the doll. And we'll show you bits and pieces of the progress. Yeah, this will be good. Um, this should definitely help out all those YouTube channels who can't build on their own. So this should help you. A little bit behind the scenes. Yeah. <laughs> and that's how it happens. Boom. What are these for? Uh, these are for the top centerpiece, also known as in the movie business as the top centerpiece. So these are gonna, the head will essentially attach to the piece on top right there. The Nugent. Okay, we've taken, this is like the body. body we've taken the body off of the legs. So legs are right there. And then this is the, the torso. And then right across here, this is gonna be the shoulder area. And this T pipe right here going up, this is where the neck is. So put your head, like squat down where the neck's gonna be. Yeah, just like that. <laughs> That's how you do it. Looks good so far. It does look good. Now I'm just gonna drill everything together. And then we need to figure out how far out the shoulders are gonna come. The and then the arms can hang. And then the arms are gonna be a bigger pipe to make them look beefy. They're smaller than the legs, but they're still thick. Yeah. Does it look like uh, shoulders yet? It does, it looks like shoulders. Well, there. Yeah, looking good. It's coming together. Ooh, don't break it. It's coming together. We're now to the point to where new mom is working on the dress. She is getting it all molded and shaped using chicken wire. Here she goes. Good old chicken wire. Some good old chicken wire. Look at it. Good. Yeah, this stuff is awesome. Yeah, look at it. I mean, it's just the chicken wire is extremely cool. It's extremely flexible. You can mold it to the way that you want and then it's good to go. And then you just put some support in there and you've got yourself a dress. I know you can't really see it right now, but we will show you the next steps in a little bit. Yeah, new mom can, cause she's awesome. Okay, on this side. Really, I just saw that side. That's why I moved. I thought it was the lighting here. No, 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 it all looks really good. This is like the skirt. I like it. Great job, huh? It's like a baby doll skirt. Like a baby doll skirt. Love it. Okay guys, so I have her skirt done. This is the bottom of her skirt. You can tell I did a few pleats, just gonna be a little bit wavy. And then the next layer, instead of wrapping around again, I'm gonna attach it from here and I'm gonna go over the shoulders and neck and I'm gonna attach it here. And then there will be, there might be a little bit of a gap underneath like the armpits on the sides and I'll just fill that in with scrap chicken wire. And then the sleeves are gonna be completely se separate. So right now I'm just attaching the skirt from front to back and then I'll shape it again. Give it a little bit of a womanly shape. That is awesome. This looks so cool. So let me measure it and see how much I need. Get a little bit of bosom. Isn't there a song? Everybody needs a bosom for a pillow. Everybody needs a bosom. Oh. Who's that? Hello, sir? Yes, we can throw the football. Let's go. And then it's back to your cage. Six feet. I'm going to cut six feet. Awesome. We'll be back. All right, everybody. It is extremely late and we are still going. But new mom has just gotten to a really awesome point with building the doll. Check this out. Doesn't that look cool? Like you can actually see the shape of the doll. Shoulder, dress, figure. This is amazing. It looks good. 
So you can actually see it. You gotta see it to believe it. Yeah. Sounds like an infomercial. But anyways, looks then, really cool. To shake the top right here, I just took our helmets, like bike helmets, and I put them in here to just kinda, just give it a little bit of shake. It looks awesome. Yeah. Great job, hon. Looks really good. All right, we'll show you guys again once, I guess what? Once we get the plaster on? Yeah, we'll start plastering it. Once, so once she gets the plaster on, once she gets plastered, then we'll show you what's next. So right now, new mom is putting on, what is it called? Boots kind of flat. <laughs> what is this stuff called? Uh, this is plaster. She's putting on the plaster right now. Yeah, so I'm using the cloth strips just because it's chicken wire, so I need something to cling to. So it's the cloth, and once it dries, then I have a form right here. You see that? This one's kind of almost dry. And then I can take just a regular plaster without the cloth and then kind of shape it better. So this is just to give me like a solid form to work with over the chicken wire. And because the chicken wire can bend, once this hardens, it's gonna be more solid. So first, she dips it in the water. And then I like to, so this is like a paint tray for rolling and kind of reminds me of like washing your clothes. And she takes it. And I do like to overlap, so then it does have something to cling to. So the one at the top, I draped over both sides. That way it wouldn't just slide down. Because again, this isn't really gonna cling to the wire. It's gonna just cling to the other piece of cloth. So you have to start somewhere. So like right here, where there starts to show an indent right there, it's gonna be hard to get this to stay. So what I do is I like to poke through and kind of press the cloth onto itself so it has something to hold on to. Now, will you ever remove the chicken wire? No. No, okay. So no. it all stays together regardless. Yeah, it's gonna stay there. Okay. And then we can work on like shaping it and getting it smooth later. Right now we're just trying to do the form. Okay, that looks super cool. The Gigantor doll is coming together. It's gonna be really awesome. I'm so excited. We'll check back in a little bit. It does look really good. Get to work. Finish it up. No. no. I'm tired and hungry. Yes. I haven't been given a break in over 10 hours. What are you? I'm going on strike. Yeah, what are you? Work for the movie industry? Give me a break. Look at it. Boy, it's coming together. Yeah, it looks good. It looks really good. Yeah. No, that's good. Elon, I love your new Teslas. Yes, they're awesome. No, I haven't gotten one yet. That's fine. Yeah, if you can get one in purple, that would be perfect. That's all we need. All right, Elon, I'll talk to you later. Zippity doo dah. That was e Oh, hey. Oh, my bad. I didn't know you guys were here. All right, so new mom has done almost the bottom of the dress. So here we go. Check it before you wreck it. Here we go. That looks awesome. It is all coming together. It's forming the belly of the beast. Oh, look at it. That's really good. Looks like something my grandma would wear. It's hot. So good. It does look good. It's all coming together. And then once this dries, then we're gonna go ahead and put the plaster on, which the plaster is right over here. The plaster, plaster. Right there, plaster. Plaster of Paris. But anyways, just wanted to give you guys an update. Look how cool it looks. It's gonna be awesome. It's gonna be sitting on those legs, super high in the sky. It's gonna be awesome. We're gonna have people running, running for their lives. So we are on to the last piece. There's one final piece left and she's about to do it. We will have to get more pieces tomorrow. I believe right now it is 2.37 a.m. Friday morning. We're gonna have to get some more pieces tomorrow at the store. Once we get those pieces, oh yeah, I guess today. Once we get those pieces, we can complete like this bottom area. See how the bottom wasn't done all the way? Just cause we ran out of pieces, but it looks really good. Look at the back and it's pretty hard too hardening up so that way we can put the plaster on it. It is really coming together. This is gonna be one giant doll. <laughs> oh my gosh, it looks so good. Ooh, oh my gosh. Wash your hands. I'm just oh gonna, yeah. Actually the excess is fine if you just like rub it on to fill in any of those little gaps. Nice. So I'm gonna do that. You gotta get your plaster. Get your plaster. All right, that's it for this morning. <laughs> See you in a few. See that? It looks so good. Filling it all the way in. Just with the remnants. Just so it can dry overnight like this. From a distance. From a distance. It looks so, <laughs> it looks so good. Good job. Can we go to bed? Yes. 
I want to sleep. I want to finish. I want to sleep. I'm getting fussy. I know. Fine. She could do this forever. She is a nonstop machine that never tires, never sleeps. It's creepy. Wake up in the middle of the night and she'll just be like, Looking right at you. Shut it, I don't snore. Like a cow. I do not snore like a cow. Maybe I do. Oh my gosh, I just took a step back. This looks so good. This does look really good. Yeah, we gotta get more sheets. Dun, dun, dun. Yeah, sleeps. <laughs> dun, dun, dun. This is gonna be someone's beautiful wedding dress. <laughs> Hey guys, welcome back. This is day two. Is Would we consider this day two since we were actually working on it earlier today? Yeah, it's still day two even though we were working on it this okay. morning. Okay, so for this layer, I have like just some scrap fabric and I ripped it up into sheets and I'm using this plaster, basically the same way I would for paper mache. So it is plaster, but I've made it really, really like runny so it's very liquidy and then i'm just putting the fabric in there that way when i layer it it'll be it'll be pretty strong because it's going to be like a hard fabric so it's going to have that fabric layer really like it and then after i do just i think just one layer of the fabric then i'm going to add actual thick plaster so that's where we are right now so it still kind of looks like it did last night but it's just getting stronger kids are at school right now so i'm trying to knock out as much as i can so that way maybe i can scare them when they get home <laughs> Okay, I wanna show you guys something. It's really cool. It's like I'm performing surgery over here. I added the sleeves last. Really, I should have added them before I started all this, but I forgot. So I'm gonna take this wire and I'm attaching the sleeves, but it's kind of like I am performing surgery. Okay, so I'm gonna stick it through. Of course, I've done it so beautifully when the camera wasn't on and now it's like I'm all fumbling. Fumbling now. Promise you, I know what I'm doing. Okay, there we go. Pull that tight together. That way the sleeves don't fall off. Go through one more. Oh, I got stuck over here. <laughs> there we go. See how this one looks so good? Yeah, it looks good. It does, it looks awesome. I know you're in there. I'm here, little wire. There you are. Okay, and this will hold the sleeves on so that they don't fall off. Now I'm just gonna wrap them around the wire. See, lamp it in there, that'll be good. Then I'll wrap this around the wire and it'll be good. Boom. That is good enough. I'm just gonna stick this extra in there. No one will ever see it. Or ever know. All right, so what we got right here is new mom is making her own porridge. <laughs> this is the stuff that she uses, obviously, on the big doll. Just a little bit of slop. A little bit of slop. We let a few layers dry, so we took a break. So it might not look like we've done much, but we've added the sleeves. And I'm almost done with the last fabric layer. And then we can finally do just the thick plaster and let that sit overnight. I'm so ready for that part. I was ready for that part this morning. To do the plaster? Yeah. Oh, that'd be awesome. It looks really, really good. Like it is all coming together. Good yeah. job. We were just talking about like inviting the kids' friends over to play around with squid games. That would be fun just to yes. have a big group of kids. All right, I don't mean to interrupt, but <clears throat> excuse me, is this? Hi, <laughs> have we met before? No. Who are you? I'm Squid Game Master. What? Got my face. <laughs> what are you doing? I uh, just can we get outside here? for something. This is a special appearance by Noob Lexi doing all of her gymnastics. Dance. Dance. My bad. She's doing all of her dance stuff. Noob Mom is making the world's largest doll. And can I just be honest? I bet I've this been, is Mom's dream. I bet it is Mom's dream. He loves dolls. She does. And I've been chilling in this chair right here, playing on my phone. Story. Trip. Excuse me? <gasps> this is intermission. Very good. Very good. By the way, I forgot to tell you, we've been filming with your camera, so... Sorry. I was gonna film with that! Nope, we've been borrowing it, because it's nice and light. Our cameras are big and heavy. And you dad's baby. Wait, what? <laughs> your baby. Can I help you? Sure, get your hands in. Okay. Let's see you help. You just grab one of these. <clears throat> Grab one of those. Toss it in both sides, just like paper mache, and then you're gonna stick it up here and push all the excess out. <gasps> this is a nice shirt. Well, and you just got stuff on it. Just do one. Yeah, take it off, take it off. Go, take this. You wipe it off. You already got it on your shirt. This is my nice shirt. All right, all right, where is it? 
Mr. I thought it was on your face. Don't you dare. Wait, no. That little tiny thing. Are you serious? That dot? No, look at that down there. It's all right. It all comes off. Okay, let's see how Lexi does putting one of the pieces on. I bet she fails. Hashtag fail. Did she put it on the arm? No, 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 no. Mom said no. Mom said no. The boob. The boob. <gasps> the boob. Any boob. Pick a boob. How many are there? Lady's got a few. All right, what is that? People have been watching this vlog for a while now, and they're like, what did she just put on there? Step it up, Lex. Here it is. The final press. Did she do a good job? Everybody leave in the comments if Lexi did a good job with her piece. I actually think she did. She did a really good job. Make Look sure at the, that. Make sure the edges don't peel up. You have to make sure. You got to make sure the edges. Sure What's your beef, lady? You got to be pressed. Jeez. I mean, obviously, is this your first time paper machine? Good job. Okay, that looks awesome. Perfection. See you guys later. What's up, Noob Squad? This is an update to the Squid Games ginormous doll. Here we go. Are you guys ready to see what it looks like with its legs? It is huge. Okay, hold on, I gotta get over here, like this. So that way we can get a better view. This is how big it is. There's Noob Mom, those are the legs. Whoa, insane. Yes. It's looking really good. This is incredible. Good job, hon. You have crushed it. Thank you. You might notice that I've added paper, construction paper, because I forgot how wet and humid it is here in Georgia. So paper is really, really strong. So I've just added one layer of paper just to toughen it up so it's nice and hard. And it worked really well. Oh my goodness. Really good. I cannot believe how high it is. This is awesome. All right, let me go look from back here. So the last thing to do to her dress right now for the structure is just to bring it down a little bit. So that's why we had to put it on her legs. So I'm just gonna bring it down a little bit and then it'll be done, ready to paint. Wow, and it's pretty secure. We've got it attached down here with the PVC pipes. They're all screwed together and it didn't feel wobbly at all. I'm gonna climb up here to see how it looks. Oh my goodness, this is incredible. <laughs> yeah, it looks good. Great job. All right, we'll catch up with you guys later. So everybody is pitching in to help get this done. Look at them go. Look at them go. No dancing. Um, do I just do anywhere, even the wet spot? Yeah, high, the higher the better. What about that high? Okay, as high as you can go. How cool this is. Good job, girl. It's gonna be helpful. Like somebody tall would help. Back off, lady. So, mom, what is your technique here? Just this... needing to dry to go thicker. Thicker than a snicker. Be in your belly. Whoa, that's tall. Lexi is standing on a stool. I mean, this thing is massive. All right, so I'm excited to see what we're doing today on the doll. Let's see what new mom's got going on. Okay, I like this stuff. I like this. It looks like mixed up oatmeal. That is barf. Oh yeah, it's good. It's gonna seal the deal. Seal the deal, huh? Yeah, cannot work with this sticker on here. <laughs> it's gonna bother me. Someone's a little obsessive compulsive. Anyway, so we're gonna be adding some new things to the doll today. We've gotta to paint it. We've gotta get. What else we have to do? We've gotta seal it up, gotta paint it. Gotta start the head. We gotta get this done quick because we wanna film soon. So stay tuned. We have gotten quite a bit more done. This stuff that we've put on, it's like paper mache. So we lowered, we went ahead and lowered the doll. That way it'd be easier to work on. Put the paper mache on essentially to harden. And then once it's done, we can go ahead and sand it. And once we sand it, and we get to paint it. But it looks pretty good. It's all coming together. Like it looks really good. We're getting there. Okay, another day, we're back at it. Let's see what we got here. The dress is right there in the background drying. We did another layer, final layer, then she's gonna get sanded. Here, if you can see, I'm just building the structure, basically the skull of the head. It'll make more sense later. And right here, we have kind of the outline. Let's see if I go this way. For the hand, do you see a hand yet? See the little hand? We'll put a side by side of what the hand sh is gonna look like and what it looks like right now. So that's the hand and it's gonna fit up like that into the arm. All right, we'll show you update in a minute. Okay, let's see the hands, turn it around. What? So that's what it looks like on the inside. This one's still kind of wet. Oh, it looks like a glove. You just stick your hand in there. Look at that. Chase is a liar. 
Not a liar. New mom doesn't like my thumbnail I did for the last video. And she knows how to hurt my feelings. By the time they see this, it might be a new thumbnail, so. <laughs> What a turd. All right, what are you doing out here, lady? I'm doing the eye sockets on the doll. On the what? The doll. What doll? Squid Game. Oh, this one right here? Yeah. <gasps> I didn't know you were working on that. So here are the eyeballs. Oh, that's cool. Here's the, whatever the inside of the eye is called. Socket? No, like the little. The googlies? That connects to. It connects. Yeah. Okay, I so you're doing think, the eyes. I think that's the eyes. I'm that looks good. I'm doing this for just eye places. Is that a nose? Yeah, that's the nose. The schnoz. Here's what she's working off of, and then here's the music she's listening to. Pink. Okay. She's giving away all my secrets. That's all you are. Secret giveaway. -er. All right. So then, that that's the head. Right, that right? does look right. That looks really good. A mouth and like a chin. That looks and really like good. Some chubby cheeks. Some chubby cheeks. All right. So then, whoa. Uh, and here's the doll. So let me go look at it. Okay. So let's take a look. This is the doll so far. Look at how far it's come. I mean, it is huge. Mungo Jumbo. New mom, come stand next to it. Yeah. What was that? Is that Lexi? Yeah. She was impressed. Okay, this is how big it is. Wow, very cool. So, doing the shoes, gotta finish the head. Doing the shoes. Look at the shoes, don't they look cool? They look so good. They look really good. Get the head, it's just the eyes. I'm placing the eyes in their sockets and then I can form the face. Nice. And then do the cute pigtail. <laughs> this looks oh, really good. Oh, and come in here. It's a little dark in here. Hold on. Here we go. Here we go. <gasps> the puppeteers. Turn on that light right there so they can see it really nice. We did show it. They want to see it. Oh, so much brighter. So we have hands. So these will plug up into the arms. and Because I think in the picture she's doing this. Yeah. Something like that. That looks awesome. So, yeah. It's coming together. We've it's almost almost. <laughs> We're getting there. So right now I'm helping new mom with the head. We have to put some Elmer's glue in this big tub, and then we're gonna go in there and see the head. No, I'm performing uh, surgery. Viewer discretion advised. You cannot brain surgery. It's maybe scary. Yeah, it's scary. It's super scary. Here we go. <laughs> It's just way too humid here in Georgia for plaster. Like, it, as soon as the sun went down, like the whole head just went. It collapsed. So I'm performing surgery. I know how to fix it, unfortunately. Oh, that's all, see, look. Oh, be Like gentle. he didn't necessarily need a full skull, but just because it's so humid here and because it rained, I should have given it a full structure. The rain is causing problems and delays and it's making me mad. This thing is hideous. Isn't that what Logan said when he walked up? Oh gosh. Well, he said her head is deformed. I'm like, thank you, Logan. Thank you, Captain Obvious. It's gonna turn out just fine. Yes, it will. Yes, it will. Chase, I saw that. Gotta go. All right, new mom is working on the nose, as you can see. Ooh, that looks cool and creepy. Yeah, it's like shaving pieces of foam to get it to fit. That's awesome. Whoa. Dun, dun, dun. So the body wasn't, or the dress wasn't drying fast enough, so we brought in a big heater. Da, da, da. Too humid here. We need everything to dry so we can be done. Everything's taking a little bit longer. The nose looks amazing. What a nose job. It does. The I eyebrows look a little it. hateful. Well, the eyebrows, they're not supposed to look angry. They just do. It's just supposed to be like a little bit of structure. It looks great. Like you've done an awesome job. Let's get in there nice and close. So we see those eyebrows. Yeah, that way it doesn't look so... Yeah, that looks good. So mean. The nose looks awesome. The schnozberries. We've got the dress drying. It's coming together. We've got a hand being worked on. Sausage fingers. <laughs> okay, I'm like bandaging up the nose. They had a broken nose. They had a yeah. nose job. I'm just gonna stop the brow line right there. And then I have to add the eyelids next so she doesn't look so scary. Little pieces, that, stick it on there and then press. This is a great method. Yeah, you're stick welcome. Stick and press. You're welcome for sharing this. Yes, for all you other YouTubers who aren't crafty, maybe this will help you. There you go. Give you something to copy. You know the family motto, sharing is caring. Cutting out lips. Okay, that yeah. looks awesome. There oh they my go. Goodness. Why no. would you do that? 
shot. Okay, that looks good for a top lip. Why are you poking her with a I just need to give it like a little. So is this what you've been going off of? Yeah. Okay. It's hard. Do I, look, do I have them open a little bit? That looks cool. But she just has them closed. I guess I can leave a tiny gap. So look, step back. Okay, let me look. That looks really good. Everybody comment down below which way you want the lips. Excuse me, I can't see. Let's see, I'm gonna zoom in. Which way do you like them? Comment now. Closed or like... Or open. This is gonna be awesome. So I'm just venting a little bit and not really venting, but let me explain this. This doll has taken much longer than anticipated to make. Okay, so it's cut into our other videos and stuff that we have to do. So because of that, I have to go set up the piggy map, which new mom usually always sets up the piggy map. So I gotta go set it up and we're gonna go film it, me and the kids without new mom, cause she's gotta stay and work on this doll. So I'm gonna go film it with the kids. Logan's gonna be the piggy and we're gonna see how it goes. So. I'm not venting, I'm just nervous because I want to be able to live up to the standard that new mom has set. I hope I can do it. Okay, before I go to the studio to set up for Piggy, Stephanie is working on the head inside the house. Check it out. The eyes are coming together. This looks amazing. Like you've done an awesome job. Look at the eyes. And then she has eyelid or um, yeah, like the eyelids that go on it and they look awesome as well. Just giving you an update. What are you guys doing? Sanding a little bit, just making her a little smooth. She was kind Lumpy. She's a little lumpy. Kind of oatmeal y. So we're about to paint the dress and the shirt. So this will be done, but let me show you something. Stop peeking. Just kidding. So this is the head. It doesn't look exactly like the doll, okay? Because it was our first time doing like this big of a scale. So the nose is a little big. The doll is like really tiny and cute, but she looks good. It looks awesome. She looks good. Her, her lips, little. Kissy lips, a little pouty, but yeah. It looks really good, you once did a great we, job. Once we have the hair on, like Stephanie said, like she'll be recognizable. I like the eyes. Yeah, we just added these, so it's not like creepy doll face anymore, if you remember what that looks like. Yeah. It looked like a mummy and just eyeballs. So yeah, this head is done and we just have to paint it, put the ha hair on and then put her on the body. We're almost done, so excited. That's really cool. And her lips are soft, look, they're like, Ooh, squishy. Well, kind of soft. <laughs> They're squishy. Yeah, she's cute. Oh, and I added a little chin. Do you like the chin? <laughs> That's my favorite part. I love the chin. Look at it from the side. Can you see her profile? Isn't the chin? It's like so cute. It's like a little baby doll. Her little like a zit. Chubby cheek. It's not a zit. It's like a zit. It's so cute. I love her. Did you name her? I love her unique look. Um, no. Murder Maggie. Murder Maggie. Because <laughs> you said Margaret. So it was, what did you say? I said Margaret. She says Murder Maggie. What did you say? I don't remember what you called her. I don't her. remember. Matilda. No, it was... <laughs> It was like an old lady name, like a creepy doll name. I thought I said Margaret. Yeah, it was no, like, come here. Margaret. Oh. It's probably in the video somewhere. <laughs> come here, Maggie. Well, very cool. Very, very cool. All right, so what are oh, you guys no, my doing? Ugly hand. Did you say that again? Yeah. <laughs> You're gluing the ear on? Mm hmm. She has an ear support. <laughs> yeah, it's. A little tricky. Are you piercing it? This is like some earwax behind. Oh, yeah. How does it look from the front? It looks really good. Yeah. What is this, Picasso? Oh my goodness. The camera even picks up the whole head as a face. Does it? Yes, that's cool. That's that awesome. means we did a good job. Yep. This looks so cool. It does look cool. Lips. Hello. So it appears I've been called out because the fire department has been called. <gasps> Okay, I almost lit her head on fire. Look, I burnt the foam wedge for her ear and it started smoking. <gasps> the back of her ear is brown. Oh, she hey, but, but this ear is not falling off. <laughs> That's right. Well, what are you using to... A heat gun. Really? <laughs> Imagine if like a little fire started on the head. Oh my goodness. Ow, it's hot. It is hot. Okay, let's see, let's look at it now. How does she look with her ears? Oh, she's gorgeous. She's so cute. I can't wait to give her hair. I can see it as a cute little like boy right now. That is a baby I would not want. All babies are born ugly. That is not true. They're like 
lumpy. Have you seen lumpy. Seinfeld? They're lumpy babies. Have you seen Seinfeld? No. Yeah, that's not true. Not that. All right, so you guys are getting this painted. Yes, we're gonna stop and eat, so this is actually not securely fastened. So don't knock that over. Okay. This okay. looks like the uh, little girl in um, the Studio Ghibli. What's that? Totoro, my neighbor. This does look good. Let's go scare them. They're up there. Ah! Hey! Nothing. They didn't even get afraid a little bit. Do you want to go throw? In just a minute, we got food. All right, so what do you got going on? Never ending paint. This is like, we're doing the orange and the head. And the head. Wow, let me go to this side. And the top of the head's gonna be covered, but for some reason she keeps painting the top it's of the a, head. It was an accident. I've accidentally painted the top of the head <laughs> several times now. I'm like, oh, it's missing paint. That looks realistic. Thank yeah, it's you. Getting Thank there. you, Logan. Yes, you can have a bump in your allowance. <laughs> <laughs> Nose looks like a foot though. <laughs> what? <laughs> or, Retracted. Or, well, it all looks good. Yeah, well, look at the back. We're so oh, close. It's... We're so close. But well, look at the back. Oh yeah, the back. <laughs> There's that. Uh -oh. Thank you, Logan. Get a paintbrush. Can I help you? Yes, of course. Okay. So what's going on? Oh my gosh. Okay, we're done with like the first coat of paint. Tomorrow morning, we're gonna touch up any spots that we missed when the sun comes out. But I think the color, she's recognizable. It's looking good. Let's take the camera, do a little walk around. Do you like how it's come out? Oh, it's so good. I love it. I just want to hug her. I packed up, brought everything in, and everything's looking really good. And the head is actually inside. Let's go take a look. It's all looking good. What are you doing? You were supposed to be in bed. <laughs> it is now time to make the hair for the doll's head. Here's what we got going on. Trying to form the foam for her hair. What? Hot. Is that hot? Yes. All right, one, two, three, ready? They're Set. heating it up. Go. And they're trying to form it. Heating up the foam and then like stretching it around this yoga ball. <laughs> so that way we don't have to make cuts into her hair. She's gotta have one nice thing. That's all we ask. One thing with no seams. You think it's working? I do. You do? A little bit. Let's see. Let's see. I mean, yeah, there's yeah, it's got a little bit of a bulge. Look. Oh look, it has texture. Yeah. Yeah. We'll see what they can get done. One it did heat up my hair. You are insane. That thing is so hot. <laughs> you popped it. No! It ripped a hole. It's no! Shape, baby, shape. The shape. <laughs> we have to shape it. We were so close. Yeah, to the hot heat. any room at the inn. <laughs> she looks like the handmaid's tail, like, you know. <laughs> Don't tell. <laughs> hey, look, I'm adding the hair. Turn this off so you can hear me. So I'm adding the hair. We have named her Cynthia. Oh. This is Cynthia. And uh, yeah, so we're shaping the foam around her head, giving her, you know, just a little bit of dimension, I guess. I have to use this heat gun to heat up the foam so I can like tug at it and then push it down so it'll curve because it's flat foam. It's a long process, but it's worth it. I think she's coming together quite nicely. Cynthia looks good. Temporary hair barrettes right here, oh. also known as Gorilla Tape, just to hold in the seam. Oh, you know what? If you look from this side, she kind of looks Egyptian because like look at the way this lays. What are those called that they wear? Leave a comment below if you know what they wear that looks like this. Can you see the angle? It's like, what are these things called that they wear on their heads? Anybody? Anybody? Awesome. They're called awesome. Hats. All right, this looks good. They're hats. Egyptian hats. It's late at night and we're still working. I mean, I just came out and started working, but they've been working all day. So here's where we're at. Yes, I'm just finishing up the hair seam. Add some pigtails. How does she look? And then we'll paint the hair. How does Cynthia look? Oh, that's gonna look really cool with the pigtails. Lexi has joined us. It's not too late. It's only eight o'clock, but she's finishing it up. It just turned work. eight. What are you doing? I'm doing my hair, Rick. 
slash Jaden. <laughs> Lexi! <laughs> Lexi Bell. Danielle. That looks oh, nice. The collar. It's done. I can't see. Oh, it does look good. It looks perfect. I haven't looked at the back. I haven't been able to see it. Oh, yeah, it worked. The slit worked. Cool. It's it done. It's perfect. Yay. Yes. Ooh. Oh, I thought that was your head. I <laughs> At least it wasn't the doll's head. Is that my camera? Quiet. So I've been working on this, painting all these little balls purple. Are those the hair balls? Yes. Are those yours? Yes. I never use them, so. Be a little lower. No, I don't. <laughs> like the tail? Yeah, maybe. Cynthia has eyebrows. <laughs> and lipstick. Yeah, have you seen the lipstick? I think. I think they saw the lipstick. So we have eyebrows now. I'm just gonna. Oh, 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 oh sorry, calls. sorry, sorry. And pigtails. Oh, so God. we're about to paint the hair and give her lip gloss, and I think she's done, right? Give her a little blush. I mean, I do have blush. <laughs> yeah, but she's done. We're gonna paint the hair, and I think that's it. I think we can put her together and call it a day. Wow, in saying yes, applause. Clap, 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 we'll add it. Add the applause. Yay! Yay! Oh no! I got a little spot on her forehead. What? <laughs> it's okay, I'm gonna co go back touch around up, and up. touch up paint. All right, we're painting her hair. It looks we're good. Her little purple balls. She has a bald spot. I need Where? a ladder. I'm two inches tall. And you're two inches tall? Yes. Oh, bald spot right. Oh, wait, which spot? Right? Yeah, there's a big one. Well, we're too short. We're getting there. We're getting there. This is hard. This is way harder than it looks. Awesome. Well, you're doing great. It looks good. I cannot wait to see it all completed and all put together. Boom. Grab a brush. <sighs> yeah. Get to work. Get to work, new dad. Nah, I gotta go. <laughs> gotta go check on stuff. All right, everybody. So I know it's late. We're still back at it. But I just found out something. The doll's been ruined. That's right. The doll's been ruined. Look at this. <laughs> By what? Chase. I did not ruin it. New mom ruined it. Can you see it? Look at it. Oh my goodness. Like someone spit blood on her. This is horrible. It's just like a round dot on the cheek. We don't know what disease she has, but she's not gonna make it. She won't be here. She's not gonna make it to the games. Nope. So dad just put the doll dress on top of the legs. You're done doing these finishing touches. She's so tall. Try the hands. This way, she's kind of going like this. Could be the other way. Oh. No, the thumb. The thumb is closer to the so it's like this. Doing this. Oh. Okay, here are the arms. <laughs> Is that in? Yeah. Hey. Look at the arms. <laughs> She's so, her arms are so long. <laughs> I know, it's so funny, but it's like so cute. <gasps> her arm fell out. A There's a fly up there on it. Get that fly off. Here. Wobbling. Whoa! Oh my god! And then they have to put the head, that head on top up there. Oh, her shoes. Oh, and she has shoes. Got her shoes. shoes. I don't know. I'm not going to put them all the way on. I'm just going to show you kind of how they look. So kind of like that. So shoes, legs, her socks. Oh, we did the legs upside down. It's fine. It's a windy day. I don't think it's going to fall. All right, hand me the head. But this, it looks like her knees. This is her skin. These are her socks. So we'll, we'll have to flip them. You're right. I need a bigger ladder. All right, so we can't put her head on right now, but we're gonna show you her head. <gasps> Mom! Oops. Okay. This is her head. You have to get a bigger ladder, and then her head will go on her shoulders. Up there. So we are completely done making the doll for Squid Game, right? Yeah. Does it come off? Give her a little kissy kiss. It doesn't. <laughs> I don't know. All right, guys, be sure to go check out our other video on Noob Family of us playing squid games in real life. Red light, green light. Ooh. Don't tell new mom. <gasps> Always cheating on me with dolls. <laughs>